First off, let me just say thank you so much for inviting the Pentagon Channel and our military folks out again to uh, speak with you. We love you. We really Absolutely. appreciate it. Well, yeah. We definitely love yeah, to hear yeah, that. Yeah, we're big, we're big fans. We are. So. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I mean, no more proof than the Joining Forces Initiative. Um, it's been four years now. For anybody out there who still hasn't heard of it, what's the plug now? How has it kind of evolved uh, since you guys first came up with the idea and, you know, from, from then? to the point where you're at right now? Well, the, the basic idea behind joining forces is as simple as it was four years ago. Um, Jill and I are working to rally this nation to support our, our military families, um, to make sure that we're supporting them, our troops, their, our, our troops and our veterans, as well as they've supported us. And our belief is that um, everyone can do something uh, in ways big and small, whether it's hiring uh, a, a, a military member when they leave uh, the force or finding a way to hire a, a spouse or making it easy for a spouse to transfer licenses, um, you know, when they move from state right. to state or finding ways to support military kids as teachers mm -hmm. in schools. Um, there's something that everyone can do and we've seen the country step up in ways big and small. Yeah, we've seen employers who um, have committed to uh, hire our veterans. We've seen teachers who are committed to learning about military kids in their classrooms. We've seen colleges committed to teaching teachers about what they should do with military kids and, and how to lift them up. We've seen um, nurses stepping up doctors to, to learn about PTSD, mm -hmm. social workers. I mean, pe you know, people have really reached out and um, and we've gotten such a great response. So we, we feel mm -hmm. pretty good about And just this last, week, yeah. uh, Walmart made a big announcement. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they have offered to hire any uh, service member, any veteran mm -hmm. who's looking for a job anywhere in the country. Uh, and that's the kind of employment commitment that we want to see from all businesses, yeah. especially as we draw our troops down and these wars come to an end. What I remind people is that's not when our service to our troops starts. That's, that, that's not when it ends, that's when it begins. Mm -hmm. Because as families are making that transition to civilian life, it's going to be more important than ever f before uh, for us to show them uh, how valued they are to us in, in not just words but in deeds. And we hope this continues in our culture for years to come, not just now. You know, when we're out of office four years from now, we hope it just continues on that it's just a natural part of, of American life. Now, I know the American people have uh, continuously stepped up over the years and throughout conflicts in American history. We have an all-volunteer force now, so a lot of people aren't real familiar mm -hmm. necessarily. They may That's not right. know uh, mm -hmm. the guy down the street whose family is struggling with mm -hmm. maybe a loss or a wounded mm -hmm. warrior who's coming home or, or simply having a child that's deployed. Mm -hmm. But it seems like joining forces has really highlighted that to the American people. Mm -hmm. Do you get a sense that the general public uh, now feels more and more of an attachment and understanding of what their troops are going through and, and understands that we really are mm -hmm. their troops, whether mm -hmm. they've served or their family has or not, we belong to them, we Absolutely. serve them. Absolutely. I think there's a, a, a growing appreciation, but I think there's still more work to do. Um, so we want to keep shining that spotlight. That's right. why uh, this kids concert that we're doing uh, for the inaugural weekend is so important because we think of it as an opportunity to continue to highlight that service, right? Mm -hmm. So it's fun. And to say the, thank yeah, you. the kids have a great time, but it's also an opportunity mm -hmm. for us to educate uh, the rest of the country about who military kids are and what their mm -hmm. sacrifice is all about and how hard it is to have yeah. a mom or dad deployed for years on end uh, sometimes, uh, what they go through. Um, but but the more we tell those stories, the more America understands. So we just can't stop telling those stories. We have to keep sharing and mm -hmm. we, we want our military members to feel good about sharing their lives and their stories with the rest of the country because we also know you all are so competent. Uh, you, you, you don't really ask for help. I think that's one of the challenges because you guys are so self-sufficient. Well, we want to encourage you to step up and to ask for help and to know that you've got a country waiting to support you. Um, we just need to help people understand how. And we're going to continue this for the next four years. We're going to keep pushing it, plugging away. Well, I know we certainly appreciate it. I know as a military 
uh, parent and uh, I know how the military is, we can be yeah. very prideful. We don't want to ask for help. I've kind of found personally that over the years when the occasion has come up where I felt I really needed to ask for help, I really uh -huh. needed to swallow some pride was involving my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a different element mm -hmm. where if I felt I couldn't handle something and I talked to a lot of military parents who that's kind of like their catalyst where if they feel yeah. they need to reach out and say I can't handle all of this on my own, right. it's generally because they have, uh, they have children and it's great to know that you know joining forces is there for us. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about those children. I know you haven't mm -hmm. been out front mm -hmm. yet for this, <laughs> this concert. No, no. You were, we hear them. Yeah. You were here four we years ago. I tell excited you, yeah, they're, to get out there. They're pretty ramped up. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> That's ready. good. That's, That's good. Great. That's what we yeah. want them. We want them ramped up. Yeah. And then we send them home with their parents. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the concert uh, says to them, or what do you hope that it says to them? Um, I mean, they're kids around the world. Uh, I've met them in all sorts of different mm -hmm. countries, and kids are kids. They just want to have fun, and they, you know, they want to hang out, and they just want to. Well, I, Sometimes forget about things for a little bit. Is this helping but I, you that? Yeah, but I, but I think it's also helpful for them to know how special they are. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the truth is we, we get to meet military kids all the time, and not everyone in the country does. Right. But when you meet these kids, mm -hmm. they are remarkable, you know. They, They're so resilient. And so mature, mm -hmm. you know, taking on responsibilities that most kids don't even understand. Um, Moving several times. Adjusting going from, to new schools. Yeah, state, you know different schools, different sports teams, they, you know, they go through a lot and people need to, Americans need to realize, you know, what they're sacrificing for the rest of the country. And the truth is, is that you can't do your job unless That's your right. kids feel good, yeah. you know. Um, so they are an integral part of mm -hmm. you being able to do what you do, you know, knowing that your kids are secure that they are appreciated, that they live in a country that's taking mm -hmm. care of them while you're out doing your job. You know that you've got a country that's holding your kids close to mm -hmm. our hearts. Um, so I want them to have fun tonight for mm -hmm. sure and forget about things, but I also want them to know just how special we think they are and we know they are. And we embrace them. As, as our military children grow up, what's your hope and what would you tell the rest of the country that you know this generation of children who have lived through deployments and mm -hmm. suffered alongside their parents and uh, their neighbors and loved ones. What do they offer the country? What do you tell the country as far as like you know as these kids come up through the ranks, so to speak? Mm -hmm. Here's you know a wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. that's coming with them. Yeah. Well, you know what I remind military kids is that their experiences, while they they may feel tough in the moment, they're really preparing them for life in ways that a lot of kids don't 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 get. Um, first of all they're traveling the country yeah. and sometimes the world uh, learning different cultures, mm -hmm. learning how to integrate themselves into new environments. They have uh, confidence in themselves you know going into the schools, going onto the sports teams so they have such positive qualities. Many of them are, d are dealing with very mature situations. They're helping younger siblings mm -hmm. with homework. They're handling chores that most young yeah. people don't have to handle. They're learning how to juggle yeah. responsibilities. Uh, they're dealing with their emotions. So they're dealing with the highs and lows in life and very yeah. stressful emotional mm -hmm. conditions. And they're succeeding, you know? They're successful, smart, mm -hmm. bright young people. Just like your daughter. Exactly. So, you know, my thing is they're ready for any college, they're ready for any job, any internship, because they're going to bring those skills and experiences, uh, that maturity uh, to everything they do, and they come from a household of service, right? They, mm -hmm. they come, many of that them are tradition. coming from a tradition uh -huh. of, of service, and maybe it's service in the military, but most of these kids are serving in some way, shape, or form. You know, as we always say, our military kids are the best that the country has to offer. So we want to make sure they know this and that they can talk about their skills in a way that are positive. And we want to make sure that the country can appreciate and understand the uniqueness that these kids bring to any task, to any group, to any situation, so that we embrace that. And to know that we're so proud of them. And that is quite possibly the, the most important because uh, mm -hmm. I know we always tell our children how proud we are of them, but I don't think you can ever really tell them no. enough. Enough, so, exactly. No. Ladies, thank you. It's thank a pleasure you. knowing Thanks. that Joining Forces is out there, another avenue for assistance for uh, our military folks and our families. We, we greatly appreciate it and appreciate your time. Thank God you. God bless thank our you. troops. Absolutely. Take care.